And you can go to school, go to college and high school to get a more boring, well-structured, well-articulate feminine hygiene uh, lecture. Life or why, you know? This ain't college and this ain't high school. This is, it's not so easy. And beauty 101. And you wonder why you're itching. Mm. But just to humor myself and you all, I've come up with a couple of names that I will be using interchangeably. Your safe deposit box, okay? Ain't nobody get into that bad boy without authorization, you feel me? Your 401k, okay? We're just gonna cash out the 401k just for anybody. Like, how do I keep it fresh? Like... Why are you smelling like auntie cookies, a fish fry from last week? Like, what? Discharge. Look, 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 listen, Linda. Mm, if it's looking a little bit like guac, like where? Okay, then you need to call the doc, all right? Because that just ain't normal, all right? Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back. I'm like, y'all, I have been cracking up. I don't know how I'm gonna get through this video without laughing. Like, I've tried to, I thought about trying to take myself serious and present this, you know, video on feminine hygiene in a more diplomatic, uh, serious kind of a tone. You understand the more respectful kind of tone, but I'm sorry, I just cannot. <laughs> I cannot take myself too serious when talking about this topic. There's a time to be serious, but there's a time to have a little bit of humor and laughter, you know what I'm saying, too. And I feel that this is one of them topics that I want to bring some humor to because, you know, wait till y'all hear the revelation that God gave me. Like, y'all know I'm always trying to, you know, listen, I'm always going to bring, try to bring God into everything that I do on this channel, like, straight up. Listen, I know y'all were looking at that title like, I mean, that title alone just has a certain aroma, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> I'm going to be straight up. Like, there is no way that I'm about to get through this video without laughing. So, I'm about to give you guys some awesome revelations that God has given me. And we're about to bring this bad boy full circle. You know, how does your vag hygiene tie in with your spiritual hygiene? Because they go hand in hand. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm about to show you and express to you how it go hand in hand. Yeah, look, 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 listen, Linda. Y'all who been following me, you already know how I get when God give me an, a revelation. So, I'm not just like this because I'm doing another video. Granted, I enjoy doing my videos, but y'all, this video about to be lit. I'm just saying. And there is no way that I can take myself serious, prevent, pre you know, presenting the lady parts. Like, if you don't have a sense of humor, then you need to, like, really click off this video. Like, for real, like, we'll wait. On no other videos. You ain't gonna hear no doctor talk about this. You ain't heard this on no other feminine hygiene video. So I'm just saying, if you wanna see how your spiritual hygiene tie in with your physical hygiene, your lady parts, and all that jazz, then hit the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And without further ado, go get your popcorn, something to drink, some tea, Kool Aid, some water. You understand what I'm saying? Grab your girlfriends, cause this right here, you ain't gonna wanna miss. So let's get into this video. Hey, hey, we about to talk about the vagina. As I like to call it, we just gonna listen. Listen, if y'all follow me, if y'all followed me on my Instagram, then some of y'all was with me a couple of weeks ago. I went live on my Instagram, okay? And for those of you guys who joined me live on my Instagram, we already talked about this topic. I already told y'all. How do y'all feel about me talking about this topic? I share with y'all some of the things that I want to talk about. Y'all was all here for it. But I also share with y'all some names that I will be using interchangeably because some people have a problem with vagina. Like, what is it about the word vagina that people are uncomfortable with? That is the scientific term for your lady parts. You understand what I'm saying? But just to humor myself and you all, I've come up with a couple of names that I will be using interchangeably in this video. The two names that I will be using interchangeably in this video is your safe deposit box. If you guys know anything about the safe deposit box, then it's usually in a vault inside of a bank, okay? Ain't nobody get into that bad boy without authorization. You feel me? Your 401k should be treated, okay? As something of value as an investment 
If you can't put a ring on it, then why would you give him the greatest investment of your life when he's not willing to invest in you by putting a ring on your finger? I'm just saying, 401k and marriage kind of go together. If your, if, if, if your significant other ain't going to go through and invest in you, then don't come off of your investment. You understand what I'm saying? Don't give, a, don't give him that 401k. You understand what I'm saying? If he ain't trying to mess in you, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. All right. Now that we established some of the names that we be using interchangeably, let's get into the good stuff. All right. So let's talk about scent. Okay. So I want you guys to understand that the scent of a woman is a lot like a snowflake. There's no two scents that are alike. Okay. And you, the scent, the feminine scent, or the scent of a woman, uh, her lady parts, if you will, is not supposed to smell like strawberries and peaches and cream, okay? So, when you're dealing with the feminine scent, it's really nothing to be ashamed of, okay? We all have our unique scent. Now, there are some scents that are not normal, okay, that you need to be ashamed of, okay? And we're gonna talk about that, all right? So some of the things that play a role in her scent would be diet, hydration, and lifestyle, okay? All of these play a part in how your 401k is going to smell, all right? But let's first talk about inside care because the feminine scent of your 401k, all right? or your safe deposit box is an inside job before it's an outside job okay so let's talk about inside care so i want to make a notation real quick as i stated in the beginning of this video okay your spiritual hygiene and your physical hygiene go hand in hand and i'm going to get into that okay because we're getting ready to talk about inside care and you guys have to understand that your spiritual hygiene affects your physical hygiene okay the spiritual hygiene affects the choices that we make that ultimately is going to affect your physical hygiene you understand what i'm saying so adequate hydration AKA water and I'm, I hear people talk about cranberry juice and yes cranberry juice is good to drink but you should never replace water with cranberry juice you know and your and your cranberry juice intake should not be more than your water intake as a matter of fact I heard some doctors say that you should drink half of your weight in ounces that is the amount of water that you should be taken in so say if you weigh 100 pounds then you should be drinking 50 ounces of water per day all right ladies water is your best friend when it comes to staying fresh down there because i know y'all wonder like how do i keep it fresh like so you definitely are going to want to make sure that you're drinking plenty of water to make sure that everything is flowing right you understand what i'm saying circulating right and make sure that everything is smelling right all right water is definitely key to keeping her fresh okay proper diet is definitely key to maintaining your freshness okay so you definitely want to make sure that you're getting an adequate amount of green leafy vegetables dark green vegetables a fruit protein and everything like that you want a well balanced diet when your diet is really not well balanced it will affect your overall feminine hygiene so just make sure that you guys are you know taking in your fruits and your vegetables your water and all of that all right so moving right along so already we discussed how important water is to maintain in freshness. We also talked about the importance of a proper diet, a well-balanced diet, and how that also affects your overall freshness of your feminine hygiene. All right, so now we're about to get into the good stuff, okay? Discharge. Nobody wants to talk about discharge. I, look, I understand. Discharge, talking about discharge is a subject that can make some people feel a little bit uncomfortable but there's nothing to be ashamed of listen what you young ladies need to understand is that this charge is quite normal okay put it like this you gotta look at your lady parts your 401k okay as a self-cleaning oven so your self-cleaning oven cleans itself okay so whenever you see discharge okay or you feel you know that fluid that's leaking 
or what have you it is quite normal there is nothing to be ashamed of and you know there's nothing to be worried about so discharge is your 401k or your safety deposit box aka vagina okay it's just her way of cleaning itself out to make sure that she stays fresh okay so let's talk about what a normal discharge is okay a normal discharge should be like a milky white color or clear so you know make sure that if it's milky white or if it's clear then it's normal okay now let's talk about discharge that you need to be concerned about okay ladies if your discharge is looking like pro style gel if you will okay mm, if it's looking a little bit like guac okay then you need to call the doc all right because <laughs> it was looking like cottage cheese okay you need to go call your primary care physician okay because that says ain't normal all right this color discharge brown green curly i don't know that's not normal okay <laughs> tell you something do not Pass go, do not collect $200. Go directly to your primary care physician. You understand what I'm saying? Because that's not normal, sis. All right? Moving right along. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That was funny. Okay. So the last thing that I want to touch on as it pertains to inside care is douching. Ladies. Douching is horrible for your 401k. Douching is horrible for your lady parts, okay? Because it strips your vagina, okay? It strips your safety deposit box of the good bacteria. You know, when I was in um, taking my health education class in college, it was saying that it actually strips the lining of your uterus. So douching is not good. Now, I've never dushed before i don't know something about it just made me feel uncomfortable you know i just never felt comfortable it just i just, see i just felt like someone right and i was right you know what i'm saying so y'all need to listen to y'all intuition but douching can also cause vaginosis so y'all if y'all are frequent douchers or you douche you know if you practice in douching on a regular basis and you're wondering why you smell like anti cookies a fish fry from last week okay stop douching because it's causing vaginosis and that ain't good sis you understand what i'm saying all right so vaginosis ladies is a is a bacterial okay <laughs> i'm sorry i'm sorry Vaginosis is a bacterial infection that is that creates that fishy like odor. Okay, so like I said, if you're noticing that you're smelling like cousin cookies fish fry from last Saturday, like where? Go to the doc, get checked out. You understand what I'm saying? Call your primary care physician. Say, look, something ain't smelling right. You know? What I'm saying? <laughs> There ain't enough incense, potpourri, okay, uh, Glade plugins, okay, soaps, sprays. That's gonna take that scent away. You're gonna have to go to your primary care physician, your doctor, and get that taken care of, okay? I'm just saying. All right, guys, so now we're about to tackle. outer care okay <laughs> all right so when you're cleaning her when you're cleaning your 401k okay so what you're going to want to do is get a mild soap and some examples of a mild soap would be like ivory dove you can also use an all-natural soap like african black soap or whatever but you want a mild soap something that's not going to have any dyes or perfumes or irritants in it that would create a situation okay because you know our lady parts you know is very sensitive you know we have to be mindful of that all right so you want to get some warm soapy water and you're going to want to clean the vulva which is the outer part of the vagina okay or your 401k okay <laughs> for those who got a problem with so you're gonna clean the vulva, all right? Now, it is okay. Now this is about to be TMI. So if you guys are uncomfortable with this topic, I'm just saying, 
We all ladies up in here. I may have a few guy stragglers that didn't accidentally click on this video. But anyway, <laughs> listen, it is okay to clean on the inside of the vulva, the labia. So you're gonna want to open the labia, okay, and then clean um, inside the labia. Okay, so you're not actually going up in the cervix, okay? You don't wanna put any chemicals or anything foreign inside of your cervix, okay? Like I said, the lady parts, the 401k, is self-cleaning okay so all you have to make sure is you maintain the outer area of the vulva and the inner and the inner part of the labia and you want to make sure that you're using the mild soap you don't want to use any type of soaps or cleansers that have any perfumes dyes or colors or anything like that because it will cause an infection you understand what I'm saying sensitive so you just want to make sure that you are being extra cautious when you are cleaning in that area because this the, the smallest thing that you may think is not a big deal will become a big deal and you're wondering why is you know why do I have vaginosis why do I have a yeast infection where is this coming from and you'll be surprised that a lot of it could be the washcloth that you're using the toilet paper that you're using the soap that you're using you know so you just want to make sure that your soaps your towels and you know your underwears and everything like that is kind of like free from perfumes dyes and foreign agents and chemicals okay, okay. so Waxing and shaving is also a good form of hygiene. Now that's totally optional, you know, but good, I feel like, I, I don't, I don't see nothing wrong with a little landscaping. You understand what I'm saying? A little landscaping is all right, you know what I mean? So that's totally up to you. So, you know, shave or wax, whatever your preference is, that's totally gonna be up to you, you know? Um, it's not something you have to do actually in order to stay fresh, but it's something that um, can be a part of your feminine hygiene routine, all right? So these are some things that you're gonna want to avoid, all right? Now guys, is going to the bathroom and how you are are wiping or how you are cleaning yourself when you go to the bathroom okay <laughs> this is very important and a lot of you guys already know this but it doesn't hurt to reiterate it you know you definitely are going to want to make sure that you are wiping from front to back okay from front to back okay we ain't trying to leave no trails of tears okay for real all right because i'm telling you them it's not gonna be good okay so what i like to use especially when you're doing when you're going to do your number two in other situations okay you're just gonna wanna I don't like using toilet paper and I've been like that oh my god for a minute like since high school I don't like using toilet paper I like using baby wipes or some type of um, wipes and now they have flushable wipes which is awesome so and they're really inexpensive like a dollar ninety seven Come on, ladies. So I always make sure that I keep these in my purse because whenever you go into the, the, the restroom and you gotta do more than just the number one, you wanna make sure that you're th thoroughly cleaning yourself, you know? And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but when I use toilet paper, I don't be feeling clean. You know what I'm saying? And if you are not in a position to take a shower afterwards, then you're going to want to, to, to put some flushable wipes in your bag and use those because that is how you're going to assure that you get all the residue. You understand what I'm saying? And just make sure, you know, I just feel fresh. I just feel fresh when I use the flushable wipes as opposed to toilet paper, okay? But bottom line here, guys, is that the, the takeaway from this is front to back, front to back, okay? Now, I'm so excited to be introducing to you this next aspect, y'all, because this right here had me on a thousand, okay? We about to get into spiritual hygiene and what does God have to say about it, all right? Let's go. So check this out. Your spiritual hygiene, did you know that you have a fragrance? That you smell, there's an aroma that comes from you in the nostrils of God. Did you know that we have an aroma in the, in, 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 in the nostrils of God? Like we smell a certain way to God? Y'all didn't know that, did you? So when I found this, I was like shook. You know what I'm saying? Like I was like, oh 
my God. You know what I'm saying? That we actually have an aroma in the eyes of God. Like, okay. I know y'all like says prove it. Like, come on, just 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 get with it. We, we, come on, where you going with that? Where you going with that? Let's let's hear it, spit it out. All right, I want y'all, listen, if y'all got a sword, y'all gonna have to read this for yourself, okay? I want y'all to read this for yourself. Get your sword out. I got mine right here. Go to 2 Corinthians, what is this? 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15, all right? Get your sword out. I, that's why I'm telling you, God is in everything, okay? So, your spiritual scent, okay, affects your whole aura and what you give off. So this is why this is important. So listen, in 2 Corinthians 2.15, it says, For we are to God the pleasing aroma of Christ among those who are being saved and those who are perishing. He said we are the pleasing aroma of Christ. Oh my God. Like, I'm just... Like, when you are saved, when you get saved, when you come into the kingdom, when you accept Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior, oh my God, he said you have the pleasing aroma of Christ. You smell like Christ in the eyes of God, ladies and gentlemen. But he also said that, he said, as opposed to those who are perishing, those who are not God's children smell like death in the eyes of God. Oh my God. I mean, so if you're wondering oh, why you smell like that, those who are not saved, those who have not accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior smells like death. You have the aroma of death in the eyes of God. But those who are children of God have the pleasing aroma of Christ. Oh my God. Like, come on, like, like, like. Yo, who don't want to smell like Christ? Let me tell you something. I promise you this ties into like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, oh my God. The, I, I got so many revelations from this right now. Like I can do so many videos on that just alone. But oh my God. Okay. So the moment. That's why you is is more than just your diet. In other words, God is saying it don't matter if you clean it with mild soaps. I don't care if you got on Givenchy perfume. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? You got a bathing routine, a morning routine. Okay, morning routine. Y'all know how this beauty community be. Morning routine. It don't matter what you doing to this to this. This, this, this physical body. I don't care how well you dress this physical body up. I don't care what to, the, the most expensive cleansing agents and all natural fragrance and all natural this. I don't care what you use on this out on this outside man and what you using to keep her fresh down there. If you do not have Christ, if you are not saved, you still smell like death in the eyes of God. Read it for yourself. Go to 2 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 15, sis, and get your whole entire life. So if you want to maintain freshness and, and a pleasing aroma in the eyes of God, take care of your inner part first. That's why I say it's an inside job. It's an inside job. If you're not, if you're not taking care of your spiritual hygiene, then your physical hygiene ain't going to matter. You understand what I'm saying? And we're spiritual beings first before anything else. So if your, if your spiritual hygiene smells like death in the eyes of God, how do you think you smell in the eyes of people down here? I'm just saying. Now, one of the revelations I got is those who carry the same spirits ain't going to smell it because y'all smell the same. You ever go to someone's house and it's a house full of people and it just stink and it just smell nasty and nobody seems to notice it. But because you so used to being in a clean house, it smell like pine salt and everything like that. And you step in and you can you can immediately smell the odor. You know why? Because they used to it. See, you're not going to be able to smell death because you're used to it. But those of us who walk with God, that's why you can pick up on a foul spirit immediately because the foul spirits carry an aroma of death do you understand what I'm saying oh my god okay let me let me hurry up and wrap up this video oh my god oh my god oh my god oh my god okay so these are some of the things that is going to maintain your spiritual hygiene worship love forgiveness 
repentance and worship. You understand what I'm saying? So those are the things that God says are like a sweet aroma in his nostrils. Ladies, you want to get into the habit of when you, you know, do your nighttime routine and before you go to uh, bed, make sure that you don't, and this is optional, but I recommend that you don't put on any underwears only because during the night you want to give her a chance to breathe. You know, you got to look at it. The revelation that God gave me was you have to look at it kind of like athlete's foot, right? So when your shoes and your socks are in these gym shoes and you're working out and then when you take it out, you see how sweaty it is and the odor because it's been trapped with no air, no circulation and, and, and it's warm and, and, and moist. You understand? That's how you get athlete's foot. You understand? And the same way when you're talking about your safe deposit box, you want to treat her the same way. You don't want to create a yeast infection, you know, and so when you're working out, it's good to practice showering afterwards, you know, and when you get ready to go to bed, make sure you let her breathe, take a shower, let her breathe, you understand what I'm saying, to prevent yeast infections or any other um, infections that may occur because what you don't want to do is you don't want to keep you know creating a hostile environment for her you want to let her breathe you want to keep her clean you know and you want to make sure that you're maintaining your spiritual hygiene because what's living inside of you is ultimately going to affect the choices that you make because promiscuity you know is also um, ways that women get yeast infections and you know causes vaginosis so you know you just want to make sure that you're taking care of your inner man first and listen did you know that yeast was often a symbol of sin in the bible yeast was often can you imagine if, if yeast was a symbol of sin in the bible and then yeast as it pertains to feminine hygiene is also something negative that i'm gonna I'm, yeast is not a good thing you understand what i'm saying so something about this yeast but did you know that in first corinthians chapter five did you know that in six um uh Wait, y'all got to listen to this. It says that in verse 7, it says, Get rid of the old yeast by removing this wicked person from among you. Then you will be like a fresh batch of dough made without yeast, which is what you really are. Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed for us. So Christ is like, look, I'm the lamb. I need y'all to be a, like a fresh batch of dough without the yeast. You understand what I'm saying? So I thought that was so profound, all right? So get rid of the sin, okay? The yeast, all right? That is the, the correlation. You see that, the correlation? So take care of your inner man, your spiritual hygiene, guys, and I guarantee it's gonna affect your physical hygiene for the better, all right? So if you guys wanna be a pleasing aroma in the eyes of God, oh, there was another one. There was another one that affects the aroma of God. Spreading the good news. Oh my goodness. So you guys wanna be a, a, a good fragrance in the eyes of God? Spread the good news. <laughs> Share this video with as many people as you possibly can, okay? But no, seriously, by spreading the gospel, it's just like a sweet aroma in the nose of God, like straight up. And I'm going to leave these scriptures down below so that you guys can go and reference all of this by yourself because, sis, it's all in here. I'm just saying. So if you want to smell fresh, okay, down there, all right, and inside here, then make sure that your spiritual hygiene is on fleek. All right. So if you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe if you <laughs> subscribe if you haven't already. And as always, guys, I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.